chapter meeting can now begin. The day will be over when we are finished. If there are other problems you wish to attend to, do it now before we meet. The chapter meeting. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We all here knew him. How wise was Prior James, really? Philip, you are going too far. I will tell the bishop about this. Brothers, oh, let him smile. Brothers, please. Wow. Let's hear what he has to say. Oh, heavens. Hear him out, brothers. I was stubborn as well, but he made me see it. Well, that's not an easy thing to do. There he is. I owe James much. He was the one who asked me to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Is walking on thin ice wise? <gasps> Who does he think he is? May the Lord forgive him. He knows not what he is saying. No. I have taken offense to Philip's words myself today. Sometimes, Brother Philip ought to temper his words. But there is always truth in them. Yes. Philip asked us a question. Was it wise to walk out onto the ice? God was testing, Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I know because Prior James confided in me. If the Lord tested James, then he is testing all of us. I trust the Lord, so did James, and so should all of you. He was misguided when he walked onto the ice that night, as he was misguided in his last wish. Whatever or whoever misguided him. Maybe it wasn't the devil. We've never seen him. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes. He brought me a hot stone. That's all, Philip. Very well, Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? We deserve the truth. What are your true intentions? I am here only to help this priory. This priory, of course. I say it is not a coincidence that he should make his voice heard now, shortly after James's passing and before the election. What are you saying, Brother Remigius? This is not about James. It is about him. He wants to be proud. No. I came here to talk to James. I think that is a wonderful idea. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. 
Well, yes, obviously. An excellent choice. What a matter of need is. That's surprising. Great time to fill it. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Thank you for your kind offer. But we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remigius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Now, let us look for the letter. Prior James was working on a text. Our God is a consuming fire, and whom he destroyed shall be raised at the end of days and shall destroy him. The first line is from the scripture, but I do not believe the second one is. The writing here is strangely distorted and illegible, but it must be James's writing. Age can be a troublesome burden. Hmm. James was involved in politics once, like you, before he became prior. Just like me. You see, there is a way then. A way to connect politics and faith. I wonder. Nothing under here. Mm. Francis, I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal.
Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring was about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. The Bishop of Kingsbridge? Why? Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My lord, the Earl of Gloucester, can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? <laughs> 